down in Kerry many years ago, down in Kerry many years ago, this, down, down in Kerry, many years ago, there was this, this man from China, a Chinese man. Anybody here from China tonight? <laughs> I mean, you know, multicultural, just like, and he was a Chinese many years ago, and, and he, was, he was in Kerry, and he was in Tralee, the county town of Kerry, and the reason he was there, because he wanted to open up the first Chinese takeaway in County Kerry. And, that, I mean, no, and he was walking around one evening around Tralee, looking for a suitable premises, you know, trying to find the right place. And as he was walking around Tralee, but the next thing, he was mugged. A gang of boys mugged him, gave him an awful hammering, an awful hammering him. And, and then and an ambulance came and took him away. And that was the first Chinese takeaway in County Kerry, if I remember right. <laughs> and they took him to the hospital, you see. They took him out, and he was up to the intensive care, and he's lying in there, pipes, machines, monitors, and the whole lot, and he's lying there. And, 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 and he couldn't speak a word of English. He couldn't speak a word of English. Nobody could con connect with him or contact with him. And, and nobody knew where he was from or not. They didn't know who to contact or anything. And then the, the local parish priest, he got involved. He thought, this is terrible. This man's thousands of miles away from home. And this family doesn't know he's here. And nobody would have to make some contact. So, so the priest went up into the... the, the, the room and all to talk to him and the pipes and the monitor and, and he says look he says you don't know me he says I'm the local parish priest here he said and he says maybe we could just, you know, make some contact here that maybe you could tell me something about yourself that you know that, that, that would help he says because I'm sure there's a family waiting and the Chinese man he, he, he just looked at the priest and, and, and all he said was he said <laughs> and he dropped dead stone dead stone dead that was it over and lights out gone and the priest thought, this is terrible, this is terrible, but he's dead and nobody knows who he is. So the priest took on himself, they would bury him in the Catholic graveyard and buried him and all, and they couldn't even put a name on the headstone. And the priest said, this is terrible, there's a family at home in China wondering what happened to this man, and they're waiting on him to come home, and this is terrible. And, 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 and the worst thing was that the last words this man ever spoke on earth, he spoke to the priest. And the priest didn't know what they were, and this really tortured him. And for years, for a couple of years afterwards, he'd, you know, every, every time he'd meet somebody from China, he'd, he'd ask them, you know, do you speak Chinese? And, hi -ya. and what does this mean? And they'd all give different, oh, Mandarin, Chinese, Sichuan, Chinese, no understand, different dialect. You know, and this, this annoyed him for a couple of years. And one night, one night he was, he was in, in, in Dublin, and he was in a restaurant, and a waiter came over, Chinese, and a waiter came over, and he said to, said to the waiter, he says, he says are, are you from China? And the waiter says, no, I'm from Fingless. He said, do you speak Chinese? Oh, I speak Chinese, yeah. He said, I wonder, could you tell me what this means? He said, how high up the high up? I tell you what that means. That means you are standing on the oxygen pipe. <laughs>